Okay, the story is called Leaf Catches the Wind. Leaf is a boy who lives in the country of Denmark. He is feeling lonely because his cousin Dana has moved to another town. Dana is his best friend. Okay, in Denmark, remember at the beginning of the year we talked about our continent, is a country in Europe. Okay, on the continent of Europe. Leaf misses Dana very much, but they promise to email each other every day. So they're emailing each other, like Iris and Miskowski. Says, hi Leaf, here I am in my new house. Does she like your new house? What do you think? Kind of? Yes? Yeah. Got a happy face and a sad face? I feel like I'm really far away from Copenhagen. Mom and Dad are still unpacking. They let me set up my weather station first thing. Then we set up the computer so I could email you. Remember, you promised to send me your VR information or your weather information every day. I'll send you a report from here too. Then I'll get my weather website started. Leap has 40 different types of fish. He knows everything about them and what they need to stay alive. Before Dana moved, she gave Leaf posters, weather instruments, and a notebook so he could set up his own weather station. Leaf watches and records the weather in his town every day and sends reports to Dana. Leaf rides his bike down to the harbor and measures wind speed. The wind is blowing strongly, a perfect day for flying his kite. So what are some of the things that you see that the wind is blowing in that picture? What's the wind blowing, Kaya? The boat. What? How, how does the wind help the boat? The sail. Okay, so the, so the sail is using the wind to make the boat move. O'Shea. The parachute. What else? Malaya. Leaves. The leaves are blowing around. Tiana. His, hat. his hat's blowing off his head. The guy back there behind the bike. Okay. Leaf takes out a kite from his backpack and watches as the kite sails off in the wind. As he watches the kite swim in the wind, he thinks about Dana's sick fish. Hmm. She had said that their gills were moving fast. He remembered the time he had almost lost a whole tank of fish after the electricity went out in his house for three days. After the fish tank pump had stopped working, the fish had flapped their gills very fast. So is that just like Dana's problem? Yeah. That's, what did you say? They need some oxygen. They need some oxygen. Using your noggin up. Oh, you're looking ahead on me. That's when he learned that fish need oxygen too, just like people. Leaf looks up and sees a motorboat and windmills. Raise, put your, let's put your hand on your head if you know what a windmill is. Okay, Malia. In somebody's yard. What, what does a windmill have? Oh, so there's some things that go around and around. Okay. They look like flower petals. Oh, those, yeah, the, the part that looks like big flower petals sticking out. Okay, yeah. So, Leaf looks up and sees a motorboat and windmills in the distance. The motorboat splashes the water with its propeller. Leaf smiles. He has an idea to help Dana's fish. So, something he sees with that windmill. And that boat propeller is giving him an is giving him an idea. They Leaf's idea is to make a paddle to stir up the water in Dana's pond, like the motorboat propeller, and give the fish more oxygen. The question is, how can he power the paddle? Leaf knows just the right person to ask. He will ask his mom. Let's see, why, I wonder why he's going to ask his mom. Why would, might she be a good person? <laughs> Leaf's mom works as a mechanical engineer. 
So we've been kind of trying to think about what an engineer does. So this might give us some ideas, okay? A mechanical engineer. A mechanical engineer designs machines. What are, what's a machine? Jory. Like a what? Okay, like a TV. Um, Maya. A pencil sharpener. Okay, Malay, give us one more. A copy machine. Okay. So, a mechanical engineer is someone who designs machines. Leaf's mom designs new kinds of windmills. So, a windmill must be a machine. machine. New kinds of windmills to get energy from the wind. A windmill is a machine that catches the wind and makes it do work for people. Maybe a windmill could make the paddle turn. His mom tells Leaf that he has asked lots of good questions and imagined how to solve the problem. Leaf builds a model and tests it. The windmill almost works. Leaf, Dana and Leaf continue to email ideas. Leaf uses their ideas to improve the design and the windmill works. What problem did Leaf have? There were kind of a couple problems there, right? What, were, what problem was there? Sean, what was the problem? The fish got sick. Okay, the fish were sick. And he was able to figure out that, what did they need? Kaya, what did they need? Oxygen. Oxygen, the fish needed oxygen. So he, so then he had another problem. He had to figure out how to give him, how to get the oxygen, right? So what did he come up with that? What was he going to make, Iris? A windmill. What, what did he need the windmill for? Fish, fish. Why? So it can make bubbles. Mm, the windmill wasn't going to make bubbles. Mm. What was he going to? Give, give the fishes oxygen. What was going to be in the water that actually? Oh, oxygen. Remember, he was going to have that paddle wheel in the water. And he needed the paddle wheel to turn. Okay, so he was so that so he decided to design the windmill to make the paddles turn. All right. Now let me really see who had their brain on. He he went to his mom. Why did he go to his mom? Adonia. What what is what is his mom? Mm, what was that? that? Give your classmates a chance. She was an engineer. Who remembers what kind of engineer she was? Mayel? Mechanical engineer. Good job. And mechanical engineers design what? Sean? Machines. Machines. Very good. So what machine does his mom design? What kind of machine? Santi? Windmills. She designs different kinds of windmills. So when he went, when he went to his mom, his mom gave him some suggestions, and she told him there's some there's some things you have to do. What? Who remembers what those things were that his mom said? Oh, how do you have to imagine? Before, even before he can imagine, ask. Hey, okay? ask is our first step in this is in this process. We're going to start. Okay, where engineers would start gathering inf the information they need. Then what would he do? Imagine. Imagine. So then he's going to imagine what that might look like. Then what is he going to do? Sean? Yeah. He's going to plan. He's actually going to plan it out. Maybe draw it out. What it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. Write out what he's going to use to build it. Mm -hmm. Then what is he going to do, Brandon? Create. create. He's going to create. In this case, he was creating that, creating a model, right? Then they tested it out. And then what did they do, Mayel? They improved it. Okay? Notice, does this like start and stop? No. So could you maybe go back? Could you think that engineers could kind of go through this again? Yeah. Yeah. This is called. The engineering design process. Okay, it's the process that engineers use. And you guys are going to be using that process this week also to solve a problem. Okay? You are going to solve a problem. We're going to have a problem too, a lot like Leaf's problem. But today, you're going to work with a partner. 
You've got two pages here. One page has those steps. Okay, we've got that same little picture in the corner that we have up there. On your other page, there are some events from the story. All right, so you guys are going to figure out at which part of the story was he doing each of these steps. Plan. Why do you think it's plan? Because it said he drew a plan. Oh, he drew a plan? Okay, will you agree with her? Yes. Yeah. All right. Talk about why you think it, why do you think that goes there? Tell, tell your partner. Say, I think this is, goes here because... All right, you guys are down to a couple left. So which one is create and which one is ask? Okay, who can raise your hand and tell me what did he do at that ask stage? What was he doing? Okay, and last one, improve. Mayel? Michelle McBrown had one who could with things the outdoors. Ooh, yeah, because if it was going to be outside, it has to hold up to the rain and stuff, right? Huh, okay. Nice job, guys. We are an urban school in the Cincinnati Public School District. Um, we are a neighborhood magnet school, which means that we serve the Mount Auburn neighborhood, but we're also open to anyone in the city because of our STEM program. Um, our focus is science, technology, engineering, and math. And what we're really focusing on at this level is um, kind of building a foundation of that, um, working together, problem solving, connecting their learning to real world situations. It introduces the mechanical engineer by, with his mom. You know, it's a great way to introduce the engineer and what, what she does and what specifically a mechanical engineer does. And our kids really rarely would have exposure to windmills. Um, they might not, they may, they, maybe they've seen one, they know what it looks like, they don't know what it's used for. Um, it gives, it ties in a little bit with their social studies. We've talked about the continent so they can get a, you know, a story from one of those places that they've learned about. So it's just, I, I can't, there's no other way. I think it's the easiest way for building that common, common background. We just decided that for our kids, it would be easier to pull out the important parts and the PowerPoint, everybody can see it no matter where they are. Um, the pictures are a little bigger so they can focus on the pictures and it's just, we can get through it a little quick. We keep their attention a little bit more. I changed the worksheet. Also, having younger students, it just would take them way too long to write it out. Just so I just kind of made it a cut and paste to make it easy, a little easier for them to manipulate. Um, made it a little bit faster for us. I really want them to get what a mechanical engineer does. Um, I want them to kind of think about that, and then I well, I really want them to get that engineering design process. So I want them to think about. He has a problem. He's a kid with a problem, just like you are. And you know, he is going to go through these steps to, learn to, to solve this problem. And I want them to really kind of get an idea of those steps and what you, a kid does at each of those steps. I think it's nice that it's a kid doing them and not an adult, so they can connect it to themselves. And then tie that into you're going to be using those steps to solve a problem on your own.